What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Tia Ron. I just took me a fat nap, and I feel good. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made this soul sample. It's very simple, a simple soul sample. And you know, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and leave a, a link in the description. It's like five samples that I made in the soul style. So if you want, it's a nap. So if you want those samples, go ahead and click the link in the description. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get it. All right, so when I usually start about soul samples, I like to go for a, a pop or an upright piano for the first sound. It, either an upright piano or a uh, Rhodes, cause that's like, you know, the main basis of the melody. So uh, I went to Interlaw Lab and I grabbed the uh, Pop Clean Studio Piano and it sounds like this. Right, so when you know, with choosing your pianos, like I said, an upright piano because it sounds more vintage, so it gets that soul feel to it. So when making this, right, it's literally just it's just three chords, right? We got an A sharp uh, minor chord, I think that's what it is, and then you go down into an F sharp minor chord, into a, oh my bad, an F sharp major chord, and then up down to a. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even gonna try to explain the music theory for real, but just like you know, like I said, it's just three notes. You go down, down, and then up. And then one thing about soul samples too, or making soul melodies, it's very helpful, is having these little stutters right here. Right? I've seen uh, Kavi do that a lot in his soul samples, so that's kind of where I get the idea from. And another thing too that I got from him is to have things play up an octave, like strum, like this right here. It just adds an extra feel to it, right? So, you know, if I want to make something similar, here's what I would do. Okay, so for the next thing, right? The thing that I like to do in a lot of my soul melodies is layering. So what I did was I went to contact and I went to the soul sessions. Like, I'm not gonna lie, in this bank, it's like a lot of good sounds for real. I mean, it's like a lot of buns, but it's also a lot of good sounds too. So I, I literally just hit the, uh, the dice until I got a random sound. And this is what I got right here. Right, so it literally, it, um, I think it adds like a real nice layer to the original piano for real. So, um, yeah, for that, no effects on it, just kept it as it is. So then, next, right, it's kind of, I kind of layered it, kind of not. So I went to expand and I grabbed the roads, the worry selector preset. And what I did was sort of like just having it play the exact same melody as the piano. I copied and pasted it, but I moved it over some. And I also got rid of like some, some of the notes too. And I uh, also, uh, instead of having it play like, you know, this like play the short notes, I have it play on longer notes too. But yeah, it sounds like this. All 
So it's just playing like the chords from the piano and that's it for real, just over some. For that, just a stereo enhancer to make it more uh, stereo, to make it more wider. The next thing that we got is an organ and I want to expand again. I chose the uh, Cliffs organ. And the thing for me is that I'm still kind of struggling with, you know, what it puts my organs. That sound weird, but yeah. So, cause like, you know, sometimes you can like play it in chords and other times you can like play it in notes. So I chose to play the notes this time. And this is what I got. This one, I just, I just played it by ear. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just, you know, said, hmm, if I'm, you know, in church playing an organ, what I'm gonna do? That bullshit. So, so far, this is what the money sounds like. All right, so bet. Now for the next sound. Um, I layered the same melody from the piano, right? But I did something different. So I went to a one shot from Kavi, uh, the Kavi's upright high one shot, and it's playing the same melody. But what I did was I pressed Alt-Y to reverse it, right, in the actual uh, track. And then I rendered, rendered it out and I reversed it. So this is what you get right here. So what happened at in there, that just adds some extra texture to the melody. Now I think on that, I just got a reverb, a reverb on it. Not too much, you know, and then the EQ to cut out the lows and take out some bad frequencies. So then next, we got a string from Contact, which sounds like this. So, yeah, this one I also played it by ear too. And I'm not gonna lie, when I'm making soul melodies and I'm choosing the violin, I love to go to the soul sessions in contact and choose like, or I, it doesn't matter what you use, but I like using the ornamental preset for violins because it like it makes that slidey effect to it when you're going from different notes to different notes. So I like that a lot. For that, no effects. And you know, I feel like that one thing about soul samples is that since it sounds more vintage, you're not gonna use too many effects for real. Cause like back then, they ain't had nothing. They, they ain't had shit, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And then, now we got Arcade for vocals. I love to use Arcade. Well, yeah, making sub melodies, I love to use vocals for real. It, you know, it adds a whole different value to the melody. But this is what I got right here. I got two different uh, Arcade uh, preset, Arcade, you know, versions just to give it some more variety, but yeah, it sounds like this. Next thing, we got a bass. So of course, you're gonna you're gonna use a bass in your soul melodies more than likely. But yeah, I want to expand. I love using the very hard finger bass. You know, it's fire. And this is what I got. I play I played this one by ear, so it's not you know I just played it by ear.
yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I really, I really like how this bass sounded with the melody. Uh, I guess, you know, one cool thing too, I don't know if you knew this or not, but whenever you are making like a bass melody, a cool trick to do to make it sound more realistic is to have these little like pauses in it. And the way that you do it is you know, like right here, right? You just place a note. If you want to pause right there, see how it sounds. And then if you want to you know, extend it, you can, you can also do that too. So it won't pause at that exact moment. So like this. It'll stop whenever the, uh, the second note ends. So then next we got, you know, the most, probably the best part of the melody for real, I'm not gonna lie, but it's an electric guitar. And usually, you know, I can't play the guitar just yet. So I like to use samples, but this one, you know, Kavi came in, he came in handy with this one for real. So I literally just grabbed this one straight from his kit and it sounds like this. So yeah, you get the point. That, that was just heat for real, so I had to use that. So next we got, you know, just like some extras in it. Got a chime bell, which, you know, I hear that a lot in soul melodies. We got one of the reverses. And then we got just some drum fills for real. Also, uh. We got, or we got a drum break and a drum field put together and it sounds like this. So, in different pitches, this is how the melody sounds. But yeah, fam, that's it for the video. So hope that you enjoyed that. Hopefully you learned something from that. Like how to, you know, make a simple soul sample for real. Maybe you can, maybe not. But if you can't, go ahead and look, click the link in the description. I'm telling you, it's some heat in there for real. If you don't like it, oh, oh well. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram, everything like that. And uh, let me know what you want to see next. And uh, 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 peace, peace. Peace.